19, it says, what? What? There's an exclamation point after what, meaning it is firmly stated, solidly stated. Amen? Amen. He says, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you. Y'all remember, he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ye are not your own. Do it again. Look at your neighbor and say, I am not my own. I am not my own. Amen. 20 says, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, therefore, <laughs> therefore is meaning what? To go forth and do it. To go forth and perform. To go forth and on, do it. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are already whose anyway? They belong to him. So we can put all this stuff on that we wear, right? We and we can do all the things that we think are right. But when we do it for his sake, we do when we do it for his honor, when we do it to please his eye. You want to think how much better we look in God's eyes? Amen. Don't do it for what men say. Exactly. Don't do it for what others will think of you. I used to have that problem. I used to think that I had to have the $100,000 car and all that stuff, and it doesn't please no one. You think it does, because while you're there, you're thinking, man, what a blessing. But you're in self. Mm -hmm. My message I'm giving here is to us to get out of self. Get into his word. Realize what God's going to bless you with if you get out of self and you give freely and you give ungrudgingly. That ungrudgingly power of giving will make what God want to give back to you. That's right. Remember, he's the head of our church. He is the word. He's the living water. He's the I am when we are what? When we are not. So, like I said behind the curtain, before praise got started, He's going to give you that need. He will meet that need. Be trustworthy. No, be faithful. Sometimes it's hard. Believe me, I've been there. I'm with you. I pray for all of us all the time. I pray for my bishop's strength because I see how hard it is Amen. up here. I pray when I talk, even if I just get to talk to him for a few minutes, when I get off the phone, even if it's a 15, 20 second prayer, wherever bishop is right now, I ask you to give him safe travels or whatever his needs are, may they be met. Amen. Why? Because how many of you would feel when the day came, we don't have Bishop, Amen. did we really take away what he taught us? Did we really be a sponge to the word of God and let it soak into our hearts? Remember, you're going to be at that throne one day and your tongue will confess and your knee will bow. But remember, to renew that renaissance, and it says in the word, when you renew it, and you define that interest, and you follow that word, and you're faithful, and you're humble, and you're giving, there's nothing he could do that is impossible. We all know that. That's right. Amen. Amen. So, again, we read Luke 6.38 a little while ago, yeah. and it says, give, and it will come back to you. Yes. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together. And I'm not going to have to go through all of it because I know you've heard it, but he says a hundredfold, right? That's right. Amen. But did he ever say it could be a thousandfold or a millionfold? No. He can add one more, right, Bishop? Whatever he wants. That's the, that's the beauty of math. I work with numbers at work all the time. You can always add one more. Mm -hmm. Numbers will never end. They mm -hmm. keep going and going and going. Just like this word has never ended. That's right. You can always add something to it. Amen. I just want you to get from it what I have.